So Hollywood's not doing so well. They're not doing very well at all, actually. I've, I've said this a few times now, and I'm going to say it again. 2019 is the perfect example to just how bad Hollywood is doing. Because I want to remind you that 2019 was a big, big year for box office totals. You had Endgame. Endgame made a lot of money. In fact, it's the highest grossing film of all time. But yet movie theaters are still closing. Attendance is still down. And they don't know what to do. So they say. I mean, they do know what they could theoretically do. What they could theoretically do is actually give us content that's worth a damn. But instead, they give us trash after trash after trash. And because of that, Hollywood's not doing very well. They're trying to snake their way into some money that's going to get handed out pretty soon. But it's looking like that's not going to happen. So the big relief thing that's coming, Hollywood's not going to get any of that. And good, they don't deserve any of it because all it's going to do is fund more lazy trash for them to put out. And believe me, that's all they've been putting out, lazy, uncreative garbage. Go on Twitter, go look at go look at some writers, producers, actors, directors, go look at their Twitter feeds. All they're doing all day long, sitting around complaining about Orange Man. That's all they're doing every single day. These people, something happened to them. They snapped and went crazy. And now we're <laughs> the entertainment industry is paying the price. Here's a really good example of that. Hollywood to remake Sylvester Stallone's cliffhanger with a female lead. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> How creative. You can see here, so I guess this has been pitched around for a while. You can see down here in the poster, it's a lady holding on to a cliff and it says, hold on. I wonder how the pitch for this movie came. Probably a bunch of executives sitting around. What can we do to get a, we need to get a new movie. Oh, what can we do Ghostbusters with a woman? Oh, we already did that. James Bond as a woman? Oh, we're going to do that in the future. Uh, what other movie can we do and just put women's in it? Oh, I know. Let's do Cliffhanger and put a woman in it. That'll be a that that's gonna be a massive hit. This is the trend. So they'll take older movies and just reboot them with females. Like, oh my God, this is really creative. So now Cliffhanger, but with a girl. Apparently, it's gonna be similar to the old film. We don't know too much. Uh, this is what IMDb lists: A mountain climber gets caught up in a scheme involving thieves trying to recover stolen cash. And that's similar to the original plot. Uh, what we do know is, I guess, Jason Momoa is in it. He'll likely be the bad guy. And the 140-pound female will likely one-hit quit him in the fight. So, I mean, that's totally believable that a 140-pound to 125-pound soaking wet woman could one-punch knock out a man that probably weighs 200 pounds of pure muscle. I'm sure that that's going to be very believable and make millions of dollars. <laughs> what a story, Mark. Hollywood is for sure going to go bankrupt. I don't know when, but they can't keep pumping stuff like this out and expect to make money. And I really do feel that when everything that's going on right now changes and lifts off, people are going to be done with this nonsense. It's already a non-issue. And these people are still trying to push it up and make it like it's the best and biggest thing and the biggest problems. You've seen this time and time again. They're trying to politicize everything that's going on right now, and it's failing. But apparently, uh, Sylvester Stallone has wanted to do a sequel to this movie forever, and it's just not taking off a reboot. It's all anybody's interested in. And I think he has very little involvement with this. If anything, he's going to be an executive producer, which is always in name alone. <laughs> they don't do anything. It's almost like, you know, when you get something that you've done, put on the fridge, it's like, you know, oh, we'll, we'll put your name on the fridge, Stallone. And honestly, that will probably be the extent of everything he adds to the film. So the producer of the film has this to say about it. I've been wanting to remake this adrenaline-filled survival thriller with a strong female protagonist, both in front of and behind the camera for some time. The elements came together with Anna Lilly and Rocket Science, and we look forward to gathering the rest of the pieces. I've always wanted to make the movies I want to see big at their core with characters which connect to the audience while simultaneously encouraging them to leave their house and go to a theater. Cliffhanger is just that. 
in what we hope will be the first of an entirely new franchise. So they're going to make a bunch of sequels to a movie that's already been made. So a reboot, which is the same film that's already been made, but with a chick in the lead replacing a guy. I'm sure that that's going to be a massive hit and everyone's going to go to see it because that's worked so many other times before, right? I mean, so many other films have been remade with strong female leads and, and men have just rushed out to see it. They've just ran out and wanted to see that film. I, I'm sure all of the original people behind it will want to go see it. It's going to be a massive hit. <laughs> yeah. Here's my prediction. They're going to release, they're going to release a trailer or a teaser and it's going to get downvoted to hell like every other film that's come before it where it tries to just swap out the old leads for, for a lady. And then there's going to be 75 to 200 articles calling men uh, istophobes that hate women and so on and so on. And the circle will repeat itself as it always does. That's exactly what's going to happen. And it's happened before. History always repeats itself. Nobody's interested in these films. Hollywood just wants to keep wasting money. And that's why they're sitting there trying to seek this bailout money so that they can keep on pumping out trash like this. It's not going to happen. Not going to work. I don't know why anyone would sink any money into this. You know it's going to fail. But I guess Twitter likes and retweets equal dollars? I Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Jason Momoa is involved in it, as you can see. He tweeted this out. This is his Instagram or his Twitter. I'm not sure. Uh, Pr Pride of Gypsies is his handle. And he tweeted out the female swapped poster. Uh, I don't know when, earlier today or last week or whenever, but apparently he's close to signing on and will be involved in the film. And like I said, I would expect a 125-pound woman to knock him out in one punch. That's the way these kind of films go. Yes, it's realistic that a woman that weighs 125 pounds can knock out cold a 200-and-something pound man made of pure muscle. Hollywood, get woke. Go broke. Anyway, that's it. Let me know what you think about this. Would you go see this film? Is this on your list of films to see when this comes out? Uh, what are your thoughts? Are you tired of this? Do you think Hollywood's going to go bankrupt? Do you disagree? Do you think this film's going to make money? I think it'll be as downvoted as Ghostbusters. Well, not as much because Ghostbusters is a very, very loved franchise. This is kind of a niche movie. Uh, but anyway, I think it's going to get a lot of downvotes for sure. So let me know your thoughts. I like to hear them. Also, if you would share the video, throw a like up if you would. Uh, make sure you still subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.